Gentlemen, I think we all know why we're here. I just don't see where you're coming from from this. I haven't even gotten to my point. Like the Bible, of all things? Sorry. Wait, I had to beat my cat. Of course. <sighs> I, th I think... I think we gotta get the elephant out of the room. The, I think, you know, there's I think, no debating. I think you're both just wrong. There's no debating. Well, name, the, name one concrete point. I haven't even introduced this yet. Let, let me... Please, let me... By all, go ahead. This. Okay. Th there's a reason we're here. And he knows it. He does. <sighs> I guess. But you guys don't yet. But, you know, this question has been... This question... <laughs> Gentlemen. This, this question has been spread across the country Pull yourselves for the past month. And it's, you know, it's, it's just, clearly bothering someone over I'm here. Just, I'm just pro-digestive health. I don't see, like, any side of where you're coming from. And I never have. I'm sorry. You know, we'll the, give one the science study. What the science st says that it is not in favor of your, of your own digestive system. Maybe that of a cat. Mm -hmm. I've been getting into nootropics bird. recently. Okay, I don't know if you know this. Uh, it's very good for your gut health, and it follows the exact same uh, biological framework. So you have no idea. This disbelief is crippling. You say that, but nootropics have been scientifically engineered by the U.S. government for you to think that. Mm, so you really don't, don't know. know what you're saying. I don't know. I think I do. I read a lot. Yeah, and everything you like, read. Probably you read a lot of crazy stuff. Okay. All fed yeah. to by the U.S. government, of course. Uh -huh. yeah. You think so. You I, think do, so. I know so. 100%. This is a dietary issue we're talking this about. This is a wooden table, not a dietary <sighs> issue. Do you even care he about would eat, that He health? would probably eat this. This probably is a he, dietary He would health. probably eat this. No, no. It's not grass. No. That's water. It's probably, I'm processing it's probably the grass. probably better than grass. He's, he's processing no. the grass. No, 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 no. He no. needs it to process the grass. <clears throat> see, I would like you to take like a blood test or something and see what your blood work is like. I've you been eating find grass any for grass a while. In there. Yeah, you wouldn't, and you'd probably find that you're terribly unhealthy, struggling to say the least. At the end of the day, I'm great. I'm why do prime. you think eating grass is healthy for the American people? That's all I'm asking. Uh, the fibers in it, uh, the chloroplasts, uh, there is a, a large study, probably by an author you wouldn't know, um, that probably studies the interactions know. of... God uh, probably wouldn't know. Oh, you're bringing God into this now. Genesis 13.3. Thou shalt not eat what thou put thy feet upon. I've read it a million times. There's grass the in the footnotes there. There is grass in the footnotes. There is grass in the footnotes. Hey, not to switch sides see, for a second. See, this is the first see, side you've taken. We all go through photosynthesis, and this is my journey. Awesome. Awesome. I'm switching stances. I'm sorry. We're switching, then. We're switching. Get out of here. I don't even know how to Get take this thing way. off. You two. Do you have any ideas? You, what, what do you guys think? Why are you here? Who are you? We've been playing rock, paper, scissors. I don't know. I can't believe this. See, they don't even know. They don't read. I read, which is why I have a sound. Name, name the author. Let's let's see the author. Let's let's see their you other works. You probably can even pronounce it. Let's let's see. Let's hear you give it a shot. I think my mom's calling. Actually. He's talking about the essay from Osgood Schlagenberg from Eastburg, Germany. I think we all know uh, the study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. 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 In well, 2007. He stated that eating grass is one of the healthiest things a human being can do on this planet because it promotes healthy spleen integration into the bloodstream. Look at this. You know, we brought you here to I'm mediate like, you're this. precluding my argument. See, I, I, see, my argument is all digestive health. I'm sorry. I, I'm taking the stance of science You need right the water to, gi to digest that grass. All humans need water. Yeah, but I don't need as much grass. as you. It's just that digestive oh, health serves we survived, integration. We've survived we for hundreds of thousands issue. of years without the grass. So so. So we've, so. I think you're uh, What'd you say? So I think it's an anti-grass debate you say? over there. It's getting violent over these arguments. Oh my god. I'm just hearing the support of science. I care about people. How dare you step into this? What did you say again? It's a matter of gut health. It's a matter of taking care of your body, and he doesn't want to hear the truth. Doesn't want to hear the truth. <sighs> I won honest. rock, paper, scissors. Did you? Yeah. I'm actually really happy. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. I win. I win. Oh, 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 I see how it is now. I see how it is. <sighs> it's violence here. 
You know, I'm, I'm here for the American people. I'm standing up for what I believe in because what I believe in is right. And I've never been wrong. It's just water. It can't hurt you any more than grass. <sighs> These people. Some of them just gotta read. Some of them just gotta read. What'd you say? I can't even remember. <laughs> I think so, because we won. <laughs> Please be seated. Thank you, everyone. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having us. Of Thank course. You. Yeah, it's That's really great to have you, truly. Um, so we all know <laughs> what dreams are. It's something that happens when we're asleep. Um, sometimes we remember what happens. Sometimes we don't. Uh, today, I'd like to recall um, some impactful dreams that we've had in our <laughs> recent weeks um, to really get to know each other. Uh, so I guess, does anyone want to start with sharing a dream that's maybe haunting or maybe fills them with bliss and joy, like maybe they're a child again? I can start. Please. I had a, I had a terrible dream recently. Oh, tell us. That was just, just pure stress and, and nothing else. Um, and uh, so I, I woke up. It was a normal morning. I had my breakfast. I brushed my teeth. I went out the door. Um, but my jaw was really sore. And I realized I was like clenching my teeth really tight. Um, and I was like, wow, that hurts. I should stop doing that. So I tried to relax my jaw, but I couldn't. And I just, my mouth kept squeezing tighter and tighter. And then my teeth started cracking and I started falling out. And I was really freaked out. So I, I shoved my hands in my mouth to stop from biting all my teeth out. But then I bit off my fingers. And then I was just walking around with my hand full of fingers and, and teeth fragments. So that was, that was not very good, I would say. Wow. That's terrifying. That's dark stuff. Yeah, I looked it up. Apparently, uh, teeth falling out dreams means that you have a sense of, of losing control in your life. So maybe I need to regain yeah. control. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, isn't it? Isn't it? If Supposedly. you're falling in a dream, it means you're guilty. Interesting. Or is it if you're naked yeah. in a dream, you're guilty? You're guilty. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. all the above. <laughs> I thought wow. falling just meant your blood pressure was going up and down. Possibly. Oh, <laughs> what does yeah. it mean if you're going straight up in your dreams? Like, <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Nothing don't know good. I've had, I've had a dream like that, like where the gravity is turned off. Oh, really? It's the weirdest feeling. I was probably going through a stroke at yeah, the time, but honestly. luckily I made it out alive, I think. Yeah. I think. Unless if I'm dreaming now. Maybe this is still be the dreaming same right dream. now. Oh, God. Have you guys ever had dreams where you didn't want to wake up from it? I had a dream where I kept waking up. I, it started with me in my bed, as one would be uh, when they wake up, typically. And then a hand came through my window and grabbed me right on my neck. And then I woke up. And then someone broke into my house and then killed me. And then I woke up again. So it happened two times. It was definitely a Matrix 2 moment. But the first time that you woke up, you actually thought you were awake? Yep. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah my, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's a dream you've had recently that's been <laughs> really haunting or fills you with bliss, like you're a child again? Um, Y'all, I interviewed for a job last Monday, oh, and it man. went really well, and I was really right. excited about it, and I had this crush on this company, and I just really want the position. But they told me that they get back to me in a week, and so today's the weak point. So yesterday, I just, like this morning, I woke up from a dream that was that they emailed me back that I was like one of the last two candidates, but that I had to like read all this information from it for my next interview. So I don't know. That's, that's more terrifying. of like a stress. That's dream. terrifying. But that's for, terrifying. for my yeah, dream like job, that was pretty. Don't work to get. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. But yeah. What about you, my friend? Oh, I had kind of like a nightmare the other night. Um, I had a dream. I'm that... having a nightmare right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, same. This yeah. is a nightmare. Life is pain. Um, I had a dream that my house like caught on fire and I was like driving down my block and but like no one was doing anything about it and then I just see my cat like jump out of my window and I like grab him and then we ended up at some sort of like hotel where like that's where like everyone was staying because like the whole town was like on fire and it was Whoa. really strange and I lost my cat again in the dream and then for some reason Vanessa Hudgens appeared and she said we were like childhood friends and I was really confused. Like current Vanessa Hudgens or like high school current, musical? Like, yeah. Ooh. It's very important. That probably right? means something yeah. completely like, different. Like the, yeah. I think the I last think she time, did it. yeah, she definitely burned down probably. my house. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's, anyway. that's an that interesting. was my well, dream. That's yeah. terrifying. Thank you. That was my most yeah. Thank that you. That is terrifying. It was kind of um, weird. Well, that was some good stuff. Um, 
Speaking of fires, make sure to check out Firestarter in theaters now. Uh, it's a Stephen King adaptation. Overall hey. thoughts? On the movie? Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't really go see it, but we've been paid to say that. But we can cut this part out. Does it feel like a dream? Yeah. I had too much medication before I came to the studio. <laughs> right. Trying to take the edge off, you know. The kids have been acting up a little bit lately. Too many bad dreams. Daydreaming. I daydream mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I only night dream. <laughs> yeah, night dream. I prefer, yeah, I I prefer it in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Have thank you so much. Sleep. We'll see you next week on Dream Journal. Yeah, and on three, we say have a good night's sleep. One, two, three. Have, have a, a good, good night's night sleep. sleep. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the morning show at night. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about how we wake up, how we go about our day in the morning part of the day. On the show today, I have one guest to start us off, Wyeth Gaeth over here to my left. And coming up later on the show, we'll bring on Allie Galley. Um, so to start, would you like to, to say your name and, and you know what really brings your passion about this subject here? Um, yeah, my name is Wyeth, and I really do just wake up every morning. Um, it's something that I've done most of my days living. Um, and I don't always enjoy waking up, but I always do. And it's something that I've stuck with for a while. Yeah. Do you have any, the last show just talked about dreams coming on. Do you have any dreams that carry on into the morning? Um, or do they go right past you as soon as you wake up? Um, no, usually my dreams stop when I wake up, mm. um, so those don't really continue into my day, but I try to act as if every day is a dream, so that's Period. what my days are. Period. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about how you wake up, Wyeth. Um, do you set alarms? Yes, yeah, so I set up? alarms and then I hear it, and I'm not really sure what causes me to open my eyes, but I do. And then the alarm goes off, and I start my day. Um, my you get up on the first first alarm. Oh yeah, I'll set like maybe 15 <laughs> alarms, but only one uh, takes it. And then throughout my morning routine, there's alarms going off, um, which is very distracting. Mm. But then I go to the shower, take a shower, and every shower ends with a, a cold flash, and that's my secret to wow. waking up. So you go That's hot incredible. and then you go crank it cold. I've learned a couple things about you yeah. that I would not want to be your roommate with 15 <laughs> alarms going off throughout the morning. Oh, but it's like Alexa. It's not like the uh, mm. like the radar. It's like some. Dave Matthews Band. Yeah, that really that's gets awesome. Me going in the I, I did that one time with Katy Perry Roar, and that oh. completely ruined the entire song for, for me. about uh, three um, years. It was Counting Stars. Oh, um, that's horrible. So that was my alarm. Well, song. thank you so much for talking to me today, of Wyeth. Course, We're gonna bring on our second guest in just a second here. Um, I'll talk about my mornings for a second because I'm a little selfish. Um, I like to make coffee, tea, and lemonade. I don't make the lemonade, but I drink the lemonade in the morning time to just get the juices flowing. Um, and here we have Allie Galley over here to my right. Um, Allie, tell me, the first movement when you wake up, do you turn left, do you turn right, do you turn around on your back? Well, let me tell you, the only thing I want to do is turn my eyeballs back into my skull, put my head back on the pillow and go to bed. Because the second I hear the alarm, I regret it. I'm like, why do I have to keep doing this every day? You think one time, two times would be enough? Mm. It's not. Try. And you know, this morning, I actually woke up on my floor. I fell out of my bed in the middle of the night. Wow. Talk about a rude awakening. Talk about a crazy yeah. night. That's it, incredible. It was, yeah. How, were, you, were you hurt by that? Or? Oh, no. <laughs> I sleep like a brick. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow, you slept through the fall. Yeah. Okay, wow. So after you're eventually waking up, because you have whatever you need to do that day, like, what's your next step? What's going on through your head? Are you listening to music, dancing? Oh, I can't listen to anything at that hour. Everything's too much for me to process. So mm -hmm. I get up and I waddle out of my bedroom, feed my cat. What's your cat's name? Fletcher. Fletcher the cat. Yeah, he's my best friend. Um, and uh, I don't have time for like breakfast or anything because it takes me a really long time to wake up. Mm -hmm. So I waddle out the door and off to class I go. And what's your alarm sound like? You know that 
horrible alarm sound that everyone hates. It's like, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's that. Wow, Cause that's terrible. Because the more I hate it, the more I want it to stop. So then it makes me want to get up. Mm. So I'll take you're not a morning person. Oh, no. I'd rather stay up all night. Mm. Do you stay up all night? Is that what makes it so hard? Or it's just you've no. always been not a fan of the morning? I've just never been a fan of the morning. If I could get rid of it, I would. Period. Any concluding thoughts from you about the morning or anything that we've talked about today that I missed? Um, I'm Allie Galley, petition to stop. The morning. Stop the morning. And the mornings. Yeah. And the mornings 2024. There you have it, y'all. This has been the morning show at night. My name is Mandy Gusky. We're going to do a quick speed round of our favorite mornings ever. Go. Vacation mornings. Like a specific date. February the 12th yeah. at the 2022 at 12 wow. noon. That's incredible. That is so, so incredible, y'all. Mornings are hated. Mornings are loved. But the one thing that's universal at mornings is that they happen. They happen every morning. You hate them. You love them. You despise them. You don't look forward to them. You listen to music. You listen to, you know, Roar by Katy Perry. It's all the same in the end. We're all here today at CCTV. Come here every morning slash every night for mornings at night. Thank you all.